guys. Uh, doing a cleaning check the other day and came across a heat exchanger that had some issues with it. Um, it's a train uh, XR80, 80%. Uh, this is in a crawl, which is a little bit not so nice. It is on sand, so a little bit better for your knees. But uh, so we're going to have to swap out. Heat exchanger is under warranty. So there's our new one. And the, uh, I think it was this guy here, not sure. This one or that one. It's either this one or this one. I can't remember which one it is. But, um, came off there, so we're going to have to re-tear this all out. So, I guess the first thing I have to do is take out flu, gas line, just start tearing it down. So, that's where we're at so far. See you back in a bit. All right, we got our uh, flew off gas line swung out of the way and uh, disconnected on the bottom there. Um, took off our um, <clears throat> pressure switch and also our high limit. Just gonna try and keep all the electrical so I don't have to hook any electrical back together. Um, take off the inducer and then uh, we'll go from there, I suppose. Um, in a nutshell, shouldn't, shouldn't be that bad to do this one today, but, you know, just the, uh, area that we're in is, you know, the only problem more than anything. So, let's see if we can, whew, I don't even know if we should even take out the inducer now. Uh, might not. All right, let me get the gas line out of the way here and, uh, all the burn and everything. Keep all that together. Since it's this way, one less thing to worry about. No reason to unhook anything here. We don't have to. All right, see you back in a bit. All right. Well, nice thing is uh, these are set up just four screws, five sixteenths, holds that whole thing on, so it's nice. So the only thing that's bad is just because of the wires and everything. Getting out of the hole for the gas line. Isn't the best. Took off the cover here just for the time being, just because I don't want to have to mess around, have to zip ties anything at the moment. I think I'm gonna take the deucer off just for simplicity, get out of the way. So that's just what I'm thinking. I don't know. So we'll see. Make a little bit lighter pulling this thing out and at the same time less of an ordeal oh, crap of course that's how she always works right extension on Just makes it a little bit easier. Less light, less problems. That's the way I'm looking at it. Looks like I'm gonna need the extension anyway to yank out the all 5 sixteenths. So, we'll see where we're at next. Well, after about 10 minutes of tugging and pulling, you get everything, it screws up and through here. It was just a pain um, from when they mounted it all up. All right, here is new heat exchanger, okay, and here's the old one. Well, you can see it's got some coloration. It's going to happen all the time, uh, but uh, these rings shouldn't be on the floor. They fell out when I 
put it on the floor here. So I'm missing one here. Okay. Um, I'd say that's a pretty good gap, huh? Yeah. Um, I don't know where the other one's at. I'm going to speculate. Hard to tell. Limited on my space. I can't tell if it's. No, nope, that one there. That one's there. No, no, no. Huh. Unless it's just that one. Yep. Well, those are a problem. You can see. You know, that's the first burner, too. It's going to be the hottest, it's going to be the freshest, so by her uh, just uh, kicking out everything, it's enough, right there. It kicked our uh, carbon connector just through the roof. You know, thankfully it's got uh, a, um, what is over there, it's in the crawl and it's it's an old house. Oh, here it is. Same one. So, yeah, here it is. Here's another one here. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's kind of hard to tell. There's our second one. Right in here. Whole ring is missing. Right in here. So, there's more carbon monoxide coming on. I knew there's two. Just couldn't find the other one. Looking on this side, you know, it's kind of hard to tell from the way it's set. But, uh, that's our second one. Yep. So, now all I need to do is, uh, well, I guess put it all back together. That's the sad part. So. Uh, might clean out the filter coil just for a second since it's got right there not a lot just a little bit just brush it down for two seconds I'm getting here getting paid anyway so let me put this thing all back together out with the old and uh, in here with the new had to take the blower out now uh, this is one of the problems I was hoping not to have to deal with but take the blower out in order to get at these guys, if you see that, they get those notches in there. There's one, two, three, four. Well, they sit in there. Well, if you guys notice, it's sitting right there. So now, what I need to do, let's see if I can do this at the same time. Here, and this guy should fall into place. Let's see, I got this guy here at least going into it, so when I start screwing it down, it should slide right in. And this guy, this guy's the same way. This guy, on the other hand, um, I'll start attaching the top first, and then I should be able to at least get these two guys in this guy and this guy back in in order for me to. Get it down right, so it's more of a pain, I suppose, being in the side here. But, you know, what are you going to do? So, let's see what we do. All right. Got it in. Uh, the inducer cover on. That was just a pain in the took us, you know what I mean? Just because it's easier me to basically, the correct way to put these in, or the intended way. Is up and down, vertical, not horizontal, and you can see the difference from where it was at before. See how it's all on those notches, and it just keeps them separated correctly, so that the air flows correctly through there, just like that. So it's in uh, 
just going to start uh, putting everything else back together. Uh, it's just going to be uh, one of those days, I guess. So, I got the... Uh, I'll put the blower back in first, put all that back together, and then... Uh, maybe have about a half hour more here at the most to put everything back together, so it's not like a huge, huge ordeal, but crawl space is always nice. That's my opening right there. So, there we go. It's not flex, just so you know. It's, uh, down here you have to have all insulated in a unconditioned space. So. So, there we are. See you in a bit. Well, it's all back together. First fire here. There she goes. Gas is working. Power's working. Everything is working. Sure, I think she's a little noisier than I might want it to be, but... A uh, oh five, yeah. Oh five, uh, well, eleven. This is probably installed in the so you can see obviously it's not an old unit. By any means, but we got our fire going like we're supposed to. And we're gonna let her heat up, go from there. So, there it is. Here's the old one. Here's the rings that should have been in there, you know. And uh, here's a new guy. Used to its thing. So, from a dungeon in Chicago. Take care. Thanks for watching.